Okay, we're going to take a look at the digital file cabinet. This is the Document Master digital file cabinet. Uh, you can think of this as your filing cabinet in your office, where you would have a filing cabinet that had a bunch of folders in it, and you have all of them folders in different categories. So this is the same thing, but it's all digitally scanned, so you can scan all of your files, all of your paperwork, and put them in into a uh, file category. Then this way you'll be able to go back and do any searches and find them really quick here. But the first thing you'll want to do is click the button beside this drop down list, the file category, and create your file categories. Ever how you want to separate all of your file folders, just like you would in your file cabinet. So, I mean, you might want to fix uh, some for your trucks, for each one of your trucks, all of the paperwork, your insurance, titles, you know, bill of sales, all of that stuff in one of them, uh, folder for your contracts, uh, just office documents, logs for each of your drivers. Just click Add New, type in the category you want. You want the next one, click Add New, type in the next one. But just go through there and think it out, and maybe write them down on a piece of paper. And once you put them all, they will be in this drop-down list. So every time you scan a document, you will associate it a file category. And you can also give it a short description of what it is. Uh, but what you will do is, we're going to create a new one right here. We're just going to say, I want to add one. I already have one of... Uh, some logs for this driver. We're going to create a new one here. So maybe maybe just for instance you want to keep up with all of your logs for each one of your drivers all year. Every time they turn them in you can scan all of these in and save them. So you would click Add New. you would fix logs for the year of whatever year it is and for the driver name. Click close and as you notice it will be in this drop down list now. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new record and we're going to scan these in. So what you'll do is click new record and then we're going to do a scan first here. You'll have two options. You can load a file or scan a file. I'll show you the load in just a minute but we're going to scan one. And this will open up your source in case you have multiple different scanners. You can pick which one you want to use. And just click select. That depends on your scanner or printer what uh, your uh, setup will look like here. Some of them may vary. But first thing you want to do too is to set some uh, default settings in it. For best scanning and to make the uh, PDF file as small as possible, click text. Make it a text scan. Fix the resolution at 200 and the scan type black and white. That's your best scan. That PDF file will be really small then. But once you set that, that should stay set from then on. All you have to do is click your scan and give it just a minute. It will scan right in. Once it scans, it loads them all right in here. And first thing you want to do after you scan it is select a category for it. So this is, we're going to say this is going to be all the logs for 2015 for Ray White here. So you could fix a short message right here. And just keep it like that. And as you notice, this will be record 5 of 5. But over to the right here, you will see how many pages this is. So this is page one of two. So these navigation buttons are if you scan in multiple pages or have multiple pages in this file, you can navigate from page to page over here. Now this, is, this saves it as a PDF file. So this is actually one PDF file with multiple pages. Now the record over here, the record selector over to the left here, this is for each individual record that you have in the database. And they could have one page or multiple pages. 
So another thing you can do if you want to scan another one, you could click. Let me, let me go ahead and do another one. We'll do a new record. Uh, we're going to do a load file. So if you had a PDF file on your computer that you want to put in here, click load file. You will go find it wherever it's at. Click on it and then click open. And this will load it right in here. So then all you have to do is just associate it with a category. And then uh, you can do a short message. And do it like that. So there is one page with an import. Go back and show all records. Uh, another thing you can do is if you want to add a page to a document that you already have in here. So one thing you can do is go back and find which documents you want to add some to. So click the find button and this is going to pull up all of them that you have in the database. Then you can sort these by category. So if you have a lot of them in here you're trying to find a particular one come up and sort it by category. So maybe I'm going to look for all of the, uh, I'm going to scan some more logs in here for this 2015 on this Ray White. So that will go in there to sort them all out. Click the button to the left and it brings you right over here to that document. So uh, maybe you're going to scan some more files to this one right here. So you don't click scan, you want to click the add page from scan. So we're going to add pages to this scan or to this folder already. So you want to click add page from scan. So click on it. You will go through the same scanning process. Let's pull this back up. Just click scan and have all your papers in the scanner. It will scan them right in. You can have multiple sheets. If you have multiple sheets, you can scan them all in there at one time. Now, so once you scan them all in there, now you have four sheets in this one document now. And you can navigate through each one of them individually. This page number, this is going to be page one of four. Now you can too, if you have some documents in here with uh, multiple pages or page numbers, and you know exactly what page you need to go to, you can actually type it in right here. So if I wanted to go to page three, just type in three and click go, and it takes you right over to the page three of these four. So you can do it that way. But if you needed to add a page to this document from a file, you would click the add page from file. But uh, when you're viewing these, you can view the original size, or you can view width, and notice it just zoomed it in to the width of it. You can scroll up and down, you have your scrollers over here. Or you can zoom in, or you can zoom out, or zoom original. Then uh, you can, if you did a search, you will see that it says record one of one, but if you need to go back and show all records now, just click the all record button. Now if you need to delete a record, when you delete this record, it might be one page or you could have multiple pages with this one record. If you delete it, it's going to delete every one of the pages also because this is actually one PDF file with multiple pages in it. But you can also go over if you have PDF, if you need to print one of these out, just pull up which one you want and click, click the print PDF. Or you can actually open up with Adobe Reader and maybe do even a little more to it. So be sure that you have Adobe Reader. That's free. You can install it on your computer. And then click the Adobe Reader. And it will open up in Adobe Reader. And there's more tools in this that you could do with this document. Or you might need to save it or export it or anything else. So you can actually open it up as Adobe Reader. Uh, if you need to email a specific document, just go find what document you want. Down at the bottom you'll see button says email document. Then all you have to do is type in the email address you want to send it to, subject message. 
the document will automatically attach itself to the email so you don't have to go find it and attach it to it it automatically does it for you so just type in the email you want to send subject your message click send it will email that document right to whoever you need to and if it had multiple pages in it they will get all the pages with that one if you ha are using the fax service in the program you can also send it to a fax machine click the fax button and notice uh, the e-fax so if you're using e-fax that will automatically be in there your cursor will always start at the beginning of it what you have to do is tap in the fax number that you want to send it to with no hyphens so it would be like that so type in the area code and phone number with no hyphens or the fax number with no hyphens put your subject your message click send again it automatically attaches the document to the email for you so uh, before we start using this just think about what categories ever how you want to uh, set the program up for your categories just like you would have in your file cabinet and then that way you always click new record and then scan and then associate it to a file category but if you need to add a page to one that's already in here go find that page that you want to add and click add page from scan and it will add it to the one that you already have in here then again to find them once you put a bunch of them in there just click that and it's going to list all of them the description you might have uh, a lot of different repairs and this description is going to show you the description of that individual one so you might have to go to uh, truck repairs for this particular truck right here so just click on it and it's going to take you right over to that invoice that document so if you need to print these out just click print but uh, this is the Document Master Digital File Cabinet.